What's going on you guys? It's George. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you what I picked up at Bath & Body Works for fall 2021. In this bag I have tons of stuff. I actually went a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously I'm not lying because look at the size of this receipt. Insane. I picked up some fall essentials that were must-haves for my home during the season. I don't know about you guys but fall is not fall if there's not something apple, pumpkin, or just like cinnamony cinnamon is that a word in my house i need that scent it's an aroma that is required for the fall am i right i'm right i know i'm right so today i'm sure with you my bath and body works finds the sale wasn't that amazing but i i needed these things so on a good note bath and body works sale changes on a weekly basis so hopefully when you make your excursion to get your fall essentials you make out better than i did there was one thing that was actually pretty sweet with this deal it was buy two candles get two for free so that wasn't too bad it just ended up paying full price for two candles obviously so 24 something not the greatest but you know i got what i needed so if you're interested in checking out what i picked up in this bag and having a bath and body works experience grab yourself a snack Perhaps a drink, maybe a pumpkin cold brew from Starbucks, the best. Duncan people do not come for me. <laughs> and keep on watching. I said it. I said it. The Starbucks cold brew, pumpkin cold brew, is in my opinion, 10 million times more gourmet, tasty, pumpkin-y, and just a luxurious experience in your mouth compared to like a lot of other pumpkin drinks. Not even just Dunkin' Donuts, but you know, a lot of other places. I'm just a Starbucks fan. That's just me and a lot of people, but you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna start off with what I picked up candle related. Cause I already mentioned I picked up candles and I actually only did the four candles. So I got two, got two for free. And I needed some fall candles, obviously. So we're gonna start off with those. This is the Autumn Woods. I'm loving the jars this season, the color concepts, the whole aesthetic is definitely a vibe I appreciate, but Autumn Woods, you guys, amazing. Smells so good. It's kind of like cologne-esque and just a bit of like oud or something or oud, however you pronounce oud, U-D. I'm not sure how to pronounce that word, but it, um, oud, you know what I mean? Or oak. There's something kind of like woodsy about this, obviously, Autumn Woods, and it just smells amazing. I needed it. It's not like an overpowering type of like fall fragrance. Um, sometimes a lot of those like cinnamon type scents are just too much. This is pretty good. I also like how it's cologne inspired. So you could use that pretty much from now going until whenever the heck you want. So we live. Next up we have, this is the Harvest Gathering. I actually forgot that I got this one. This smells amazing. This one is one of those fall scents. Like you smell this and you're just like, okay, that is autumn that is fall, that is the season of the pumpkin. And I love it. And this actually definitely smells very pumpkin, cranberry, and I would say maybe a bit of spice, some type of spice. I don't know, not a spice girl, but a spice is in here and I love it. So this is this is for sure a fall scent. This one is, you know, if you, if you are a autumn lover and you want your house to smell the season, then this is a good one to have that's not too overpowering. It's kind of soothing in a way and it's very welcoming. It's not like one of those slap you in the face type scents. It's a good one. So I also have another one in here. By the way, I'm not one of those sweet candle type of people. I know like a lot of the fall scents are super pumpkin-y and sweets and candy-like. That's, that's not me, so. We don't have any of those. This one, pumpkin apple. So this is as pumpkin as it got for me. I can go a little bit more pumpkin than this, but my partner, uh, Gustavo, is not about the pumpkin life. So luckily, he actually enjoyed this one. So good. So this one is a tad sweet. So you have the apple fragrance, but it's not like, you know, again, overpowering. It's very, oh my God. All right, so this is probably my favorite of all of them that I picked up. I love this one. To me, you have to have something pumpkin or apple related, or maybe a combo like this in your home during the season. Because if you don't, do you even appreciate the fall? Like, do you? Seriously? No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. It's just a requirement for me. Again, we have one more because I got four total. This is not fall related, but Gustavo wanted this. And this is actually lavender bergamot. I love bergamot. Lavender as well. And this one is a very subtle and soothing type of scent. 
Uh, I definitely get the essential oil type of vibe with this. Oh, it smells so good. So this is, I think like available all the time. I don't think it's just available for this time of the year, but this is definitely one of those fragrances that's gonna be nice for a bathroom or your bedroom because it's just, it's so minimal and clean and kind of like therapeutic in a way. So it's not like one of those, you know, therapy type fragrances, like the stress relief or anything, but it's it's definitely enjoyable. Next up, I got a, a soap and this is just a fresh forest sage. And this is the like foaming type soap. I've never seen this one before and I actually cannot come across any of the candles in this fragrance. So I'm not too sure what it smells like. So we're gonna test it out right now. And I only bought one soap because I didn't really need them, but I wanted one for the season. Oh, it smells really nice. Okay, so definitely has like balsamy type of a fragrance to it, but it's not overpowering. It's not like the fresh balsam or anything like that, but it does smell foresty, hence fresh forest. So I love that. And there is something that's very earthy, like the sage. So pretty cool. Preach. That wasn't on sale, unfortunately, so I paid the full price for that. Luckily, I had a coupon where it was 20% off my entire purchase, and then I got a $6, it was six bucks for a wallflower and the wallflower plug in. So I got one of these for free if I bought a wallflower, so that was pretty cool. So that's basically what I got next. I got five wallflower bulbs for 24 bucks. Not too bad, again, got one of these for free, not that I needed one, but we have sweater weather, Try to say that five times. Sweater weather, sweater weather, sweater weather, sweater weather, sweater weather. Okay, I guess I can do it. We also have flannel. Another sweater weather. And the sweater weather is gonna be like the cozy, nice, you know, warming scent for my living area and like where I spend most of my time. And then we have a eucalyptus mint. I always get this for my, my bathroom. It's always just like something that, you know, is soothing and therapeutic for me when I'm in the bathroom <laughs> and I have a fresh fall morning. I absolutely love, love, love this one. Um, one, two, three, four, five, oh, about six. Okay, so like I have six wallflowers. I don't know how I did that. I was wondering like why the price was weird. So um, yeah, five for 24, but I bought six. <laughs> fresh fall morning. I absolutely love this one. It is very subtle, but fall smelling but kind of like cologne-esque in a way too so we love that i was all about the whole cologne vibe with bath and body works when they first came out with mahogany teak wood but it just became so basic i said it became basic last i got an antibacterial this is the sweater weather and i actually got this for free so the coupons that i received was like three of them it was the 20 percent off the six dollar for a bulb and a wallflower plug and then a free antibacterial. And I use all three of them. Yeah, scored. Did I score? Because I spent 70 some bucks. Probably not, but I had fun and these were, you know, necessary for me. For the fall. I have one more thing I'm gonna share with you guys today. I actually picked up this decoration at Home Goods. I'm not decorating my home yet for Halloween or the fall. It's only like the beginning of September right now, so don't when I'm posting this, but I'm not one to like rush Halloween. Although I do decorate before October. So probably like the last week of September, maybe like second last week. I don't know, but I uh, picked up something at Home Goods that I never seen and I absolutely love Sleepy Hollow. If you have not seen my Sleepy Hollow vlog on this channel, I will like link it up here or somewhere, maybe down below. But I'm obsessed with the Sleepy Hollow Headless Horseman story. I got a really cool decoration last year that I seen on Jade Libra. She's a YouTuber as well, and she goes like Halloween hunting at every store. I live for her, by the way. She's awesome. But she found this like Headless Horseman decoration. I luckily found it at the end of the season last year. And this one is kind of like the same vibe. So I needed this as well. Are you ready? Check this out. How beautiful is that? So it's kind of like a little statue of Mr. Headless Horseman and he's wearing his like warrior uniform because he was a soldier and it lights up. We're not done yet. This pumpkin gets lit. How do you do it? How do I, oh, right here. Do you see that? How cool is this? So this was 
I needed to get it. There was only one of them. And I'm like a frequent TJ Maxx Home Goods Marshall shopper. I have not seen this out just yet. And their Halloween stuff goes so quick. So once I seen it, I was like, I, I have to get it. Like this is a necessity. But this is the first Halloween piece I picked up this year for 2021. I'm obsessed and I'm super excited to start decorating for Halloween. I've been debating on doing a vlog on this channel of like my home decorated for, you know, the holiday. So contemplating that we will see who knows if i have time or if you guys even want to see that if you do let me know down below but i'm gonna wrap up this video guys thank you so much for hanging out with me thank you so much for enjoying these bath and body works hauls i feel like every time i post these people seem to enjoy them so that is always cool but if you did please give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below what your favorite like fragrances for the season i would love to know and also check it out there was a pumpkin bonfire candle that i've been dying to smell and I seen it online, but they didn't have it in the store. So kind of bummed about that. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love your company. Do not forget to click the notification bell. That is very important. If you don't click the bell, it means you're not going to be notified when I upload a new video. So you got to click the bell for me and for all your favorite YouTubers. Show us the support. We definitely appreciate it beyond. Yeah. Also, my personal Instagram is right here at George Shaw. If you want to follow me there as well. I have tons of cat hair out and about. So please do not judge me. Until next time, and as always, say thanks, give compliments, and think positive. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.